Remember that ions are atoms or compounds with a charge. It can be a positive or a negative charge, but either one makes an ion. There are simple monoatomic ions, and then there are the more complex polyatomic ions. Monoatomic ions are single atoms with a positive or negative charge from a loss or gain of one or more electrons. Here are some examples of monoatomic ions. There's actually a really easy way to figure out the ions that form from the representative elements. You just use the periodic table. Elements in column 1 become plus 1 cations, column 2 plus 2 cations, and column 13 become plus 3 cations. Now carbon could act as a cation or an anion with a plus or minus 4, but it usually doesn't form ions. It would prefer to make covalent bonds. Column 15 becomes minus 3 anions, column 16 becomes minus 2 anions, and column 17 become minus 1 anions. Transition metals form cations, but many of these atoms have more than one possible charge. One way to know is by the name of the chemical you're using. The symbol for transition metal ions will have the charge, but there are multiple possible charges. In the stock name, you use a Roman numeral to note the charge of the ion. The classical name is not often used, but you may hear it occasionally, especially from some of the older college professors. Words like cuprous ion or cupric ion tell you whether it's the higher or lower charge, but you have to remember which is which. The stock names are a clearer, more straightforward way to name these ions, so we would say lead-2 and lead-4 ions, or mercury-2 ion, which also happens to be a diatomic elemental ion. Polyatomic ions are composed of more than one atom, like sulfate, hydroxide, phosphite, and ammonium ions. They are tightly bound by covalent bonds and behave as one unit that carries a charge. Most of the polyatomic ion names end in ate or ite, which are the oxyanions, but some polyatomic ions end in ide, ide. Ite means less and eight means more, which is in reference to the number of oxygen atoms in the ion. Let's look at a list of some common polyatomic ion names. Here they're sorted by their charge. The top section are all minus one anions. Then the charge increases down the chart. Everything on this chart is an anion except for one cation the ammonium ion, NH4+. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.